Well, before his mission to the moon, Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen is on a mission to let Canadians know how preparations are going ahead of the historic Artemis II mission. He'll be the first Canadian astronaut to take part in a lunar mission, but definitely not the last as he spends today at the Ontario Science Centre looking to inspire the next generation of astronauts and answer some of their questions. Today he joins us with more on how plans are shaping up. Jeremy, we're so excited to have you on Global News. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. The mission is slated for next year. So how is preparation going? What's it been looking like? Yeah, things have been going really well. Uh, there's a lot of work to do. Super impressed by the, the, you know, the overall team that we have. I've just been involved in this uh, mission really since April. But there's been a lot of people in this team that have been working on this for years. And the work that they've done to date is very, very impressive. We're pretty busy as a crew, um, learning about the vehicle ourselves, getting up to speed on it. We have a simulator now that we've been training in, and uh, we're uh, spending a lot of time with the experts of the individual systems, getting ready for our mission. It's pretty exciting times for us. Yeah, and what is your goal with this mission? So the, the goal with this mission is to test the Orion capsule as well as the rocket. It's the first time we put humans on this vehicle, so it's very much a test flight. And it'll be the first time we get to ensure that this vehicle can support uh, four humans in deep space around the moon, that it'll be ready to go into lunar orbit and support a lunar landing uh, on Artemis 3. And so our job is sort of a test profile of testing all the different capabilities of this capsule in a way that is safe, that gives us some outs, if you will, if we have an issue that we, we still have a good chance of survival. Uh, so very much a test flight. All right, and again, it's going to be roughly 10 days that you're on this mission. What are you guys going to do while you're up there? I mean, what do you eat? Where do you sleep? <laughs> so you kind of have to visualize this pretty small space. Uh, once we're in microgravity, it'll feel, it'll feel a lot bigger, uh, but it's still pretty tiny. Sort of imagine being in a minivan for, uh, and going camping for 10 days, but never getting out of the van. That's sort of going to be our life. Um, we, we'll be bringing food with us, the same types of food we eat on the International Space Station. So these are pre-prepared packaged foods that we either reheat or rehydrate, or things like you know granola bars as well. And uh, for sleeping, we're just going to sleep wherever we can manage to tie four sleeping bags in that tight spot uh, and all be, have our own little tiny section. Now you mentioned you're part of a four-person crew, the only Canadian astronaut on board as well. Describe what that's like, being given, being given that honor and your message to the next generation this weekend. I'm so proud to see Canada represented on this mission. Uh, it's really important Canadians understand there's very little to do with me. I'm very fortunate that I was selected to fly this mission, but the reality is a Canadian was invited to participate because Canada earned this spot. Uh, and we earned it by literally thousands of people over decades setting big goals for Canada and space, taking on big challenges, overcoming ch uh, those challenges and failures that you will always encounter when you set big goals, and putting us on the map with respect to human space exploration. We are delivering technology and innovation that is sought after by the international community, and for that reason, we've been invited to uh, have a Canadian be the second, or Canada, be the second country in the world to send a human into deep space. That is a big compliment to Canada, and I would love during this mission just to reflect that back to Canadians. And with respect to our young Canadians, I think it is a very visual and important example for them of what, what they can accomplish and the genius that is inside of them. If we set big goals for them and, and they work together to achieve them, they can take on the challenges that we face on this planet. I'll just add one more thing. I, I heard from a young girl this week in elementary school. The question she asked me was, do you think that we can have a good future here on this planet? And that really hit me, uh, that these are the things that our young, our, our young Canadians and youth are thinking about. And the answer is 100% yes. Humanity can do amazing things, but they are going to have to dig in. They are going to have to learn to bring us together as opposed to separating humanity. It's a big challenge for them, but it's very much doable, and we have to frame it in the positive. Inspiring words there. Before we let you go, Jeremy, we know so many kids excited to talk to you today, so many Canadians excited for this endeavor. What are you most excited for? I'm excited for the opportunity to see our planet hanging in the vacuum of space in all of its glory. It's a very rare 
uh, opportunity as a human to get to see that. And I'm so excited to just take those photos, take those videos, share them back to humanity. Not that Artemis is going to fix all the problems of the world, but the Artemis missions is very much a check mark in the wind column for humanity. It's that very visual example of the great things we can do when we create together instead of destroy. And I'm excited to see humanity's response uh, to this mission. It really is exciting. Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen joining us today as we get ready for the Artemis 2 mission to the moon. Jeremy, thanks so much. Thank you.